What's good y'all? I'm Jessamyn Stanley. Welcome to my home. I have been so excited to do this video for a very long time and it has taken me forever to get my shit together enough to do it, but we are here today. I did it, yes! I found out about Peloton a really long time ago and I wanted to invest in a bike, but I was like, this shit's too expensive for my, it's too rich for my blood. I was like, I got a TV. They have a digital subscription service. I will be utilizing that to have my Peloton experience. So that's what I've been doing for like three years, I think, let's call it that. There was a huge period of time where like, I was using it really inconsistently because I was traveling like constantly. And so I was not at my house using my Peloton bike, but thank you coronavirus. Now I, and I think a lot of people are like really focusing on home gym experience and my Peloton hack has been a really big part of that. One of the reasons that I really wanted to do this video is because I was talking to my friend friend and co-founder of The Underbelly, Mary Court, about how she thinks that Peloton is like really exclusionary and bougie. And <laughs> at The Underbelly, we are so proud of the diversity of our practitioners. And I think that Peloton doesn't always come off that way, but I've always felt like The Underbelly and Peloton are in the same lineage because I do think that Peloton really encourages every athlete to show up for themselves and to really shine through themselves and to, to shine through the difficulty of the experience and not be like, oh my God, this is too hard. I can't do this, this is too much. But I've always been really drawn to Peloton because I think the instructors are fantastic. I think that the classes are really accessible and I think the musical choices are dope. Anyway, I also should say that this is not sponsored at all. <laughs> like I'm talking a lot about Peloton. I don't, this is not sponsored, I don't care. It's not that deep to me. I just think that everyone should find physical exercise that makes them happy because it makes our souls happy to move and it doesn't matter what you look like. Like you should be able to find that experience for yourself regardless of anything in your life. So there are a lot of components to the Peloton hack and I do think that there are enough components where you could be like, oh bitch, this is too much. Like I'm just gonna get me a Peloton bike and I'm like, do that if you want to but the Peloton hack literally costs all inclusive is like a fraction of the cost of a Peloton bike. So you can get you a perfectly good Peloton hack. A few different components that are required. Obviously you need the bike, but in addition to the bike, a lot of Peloton classes use hand weights. I bought this like Amazon basics. It's 20 pounds total and it costs $34.99. I bought two sets of these for the two bikes. I bought my first bike a few years ago and then I just built the second bike out like last month because my girlfriend is now using Peloton as much more than I am actually. And so we wanted to be able to ride together and it was so worth it. If you want to do Peloton with more than one person, then the Peloton hack is a great way to go about doing that. Yeah, and links to everything that I'm talking about are down below. So you can hit that up. All right, the phone mount, it's just Amazon. I'm that bitch that's keeping Jeff Bezos in business. Like it's me, I'm the problem. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't care. So if you wanna come over here and Amazon shame, you pick the wrong bitch. I know, oh, Jessamyn, it's Monopoly. If we're gonna be living in the Fountainhead, this is Atlas Shrugged, this is terrible. Ayn Rand's fantasy. And I'm like, we're already there. So phone mounts, <laughs> I got the Rome Universal Premium Bike Phone Mount. I think it is just your average everyday phone mount for a bike. The phone mount is 1998. And the other thing that I don't have much to say about, but is a relatively new addition to the to bike life at our house is the Acmore bike water bottle holder. And they come in a two pack. We got two for $9.29. Stuck it on the front of the handlebars. Stick your water bottle in there. I used to just put my water jar to the side, but it just creates a lot of chaos for no reason. So the water bottle holder has been dope and we're just using water bottles from around the house. You know I mean? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a frugal bitch, you know what I mean? Gel seat cover. Okay, so this is not a necessity, but I think it makes a sizable difference in the experience. A lot of people, when they start spinning, 
their immediate thing is like the bike seat is really uncomfortable and it is and honestly it's kind of meant to be uncomfortable because you're not supposed to be sitting on the bike that much get your ass out the saddle it won't hurt so much and then when you do get in the saddle you'll be grateful to be sitting the fuck down because your legs are tired so you're like it's just like win-win cadence monitor okay so wahoo makes a cadence monitor the sensor is a little bluetooth sensor that you strap to the pedals of your bike so that when you're moving the pedals it is reading your cadence and it sends that reading to any Bluetooth enabled device that you use. So I used to actually keep a phone near my bike that specifically I used for this, but I actually haven't been using it that much recently for a bunch of reasons that involve Bluetooth being sketchy and <laughs> my phone, my, ha my house being very old and not enjoying Wi-Fi. And so that those two things combined mean that I haven't been using the cadence monitor as much as I used to, but I think that the cadence monitor can make a really big difference, especially if you're really integrating with the Peloton experience. The Peloton instructors are really good about shouting out what cadence you need to be moving at. And I have actually found recently, because I haven't been using the Wahoo sensor that much, that I can keep pace with what the instructor is saying, just based on feeling the music and feeling whether I should be going faster or slower than where the music is. And also just trying to like find my own rhythm inside myself. I don't know if this is a long-term solution. Okay. The next thing that I got is an equipment mat. So I do have several yoga mats, most of which I don't use regularly, but an equipment mat is much more heavy duty than a yoga mat is. Yoga mats are relatively flimsy on purpose and equipment mats are meant to hold the weight of not just the physical equipment, but also a person on the equipment. What I do know about living in an old house is this shit gets damaged really quickly and our house is very old. The floors are hardwood and I think that the mats help absorb some of the weight. The mat was $27.65 got one for each bike. Then there's the bike itself. And I went with this blog entry that I read that gave me like all the details about how to hack a Peloton bike. I literally just bought the bike that she talked about on it, which is the Sunny Health and Fitness Spin Bike. It's just a standard run of the mill, budget spin bike. A live spin class, are they even doing that now? Damn. There used to be these things called spin classes where you would go to a physical studio and a sunny bike is the type of bike that you would typically see there. When I got my sunny bike this most recent time, it cost $269.95. When I just checked the price, it was $299.95. So I think that Amazon knows that we're hacking Peloton bikes. But those are all of the ingredients that I bought for my initial Peloton hack and that I replicated for the second Peloton hack. And all of that equipment together, let me give you a total actually. Yeah, okay, so all of that together is $415.55. It's a little less than a quarter maybe of the cost of the original Peloton bike. And granted, again, you have to buy everything up front with the Peloton you can get on a payment plan, or I guess you can if you have good credit. I have no idea if I would get approved for such a plan, but I think it is a worthwhile investment if you are looking to do it on the cheap. You don't need to like subscribe to Peloton or anything, but I do subscribe to Peloton. It's a monthly subscription. It's $12.99 a month. I really like all the classes that they have on there. I take a lot of strength training classes on there as well, but there's all kinds of stuff. There's yoga and meditation, all kinds of shit on there. And that's the only recurring fee is that $12.99 a month. That could be where you cut it off. But I, for a long time, have wanted to invest in clipless pedals for my bike so that I can wear spin shoes and clip into the bike. You can have a much more intentional and impactful ride if you are clipped into the bike as opposed to putting your shoes into caged pedals, which is what the Sunny Bike comes with. You don't have to have spin, specific spin shoes to ride, but it's so much better to be clipped into the pedals. I did a lot of research online, and then I also went to a local bike shop and 
talk to the people who work there about it. What I ended up getting were the Look Kio Classic 3 pedals. They were $60 a piece. So we got two sets, but for one bike, you only need one set, so $60. They were a little bit less expensive than some other clipless pedals, and you can use multiple types of cleats to clip in and out of the pedals. I'm gonna link below some of the resources that I looked into to pick my clipless pedals and to just know more about how to install them. And then I also got spin shoes and I got the Shimano cycling shoes. The link that I'm gonna have below is not the exact shoes that I got. It's just what was on Amazon, but I got these at the bicycle chain. Spin shoes are just kind of expensive regardless, like whether you buy them from Peloton or not. These, I want to say they were somewhere in the category, in the $100 range. It was somewhere between like $90 and $120 maybe. I honestly haven't had them for that long. I think I've had them for like two, maybe three weeks. And they just have made such an incredible difference in my ride. Having the clipless pedals, total fucking game changer. But all together with the Peloton subscription, the clipless pedals, the spin shoes, the water bottle mount, the bike, all this shit is going to be about $587.83. So let's just call it like $600 for everything. And you do pay that $12.99 every month. Compared to the cost of a Peloton, which is $1,895 for the bike. The Peloton Plus is $24.95. That's not the shoes and the weights. That's not the subscription. I think you actually need to get a specific subscription for the bike that is almost $40 every month. So they are expensive. Oh, I did also want to add that there are other things that you can add to your ride to make it even more of the Peloton experience. Like you can use a heart rate monitor. Anyway, that's a whole other thing that we can talk about another time. I hope that this has been informative and I hope that if you have wanted to try Peloton but you just thought that it was out of your price range and maybe honestly what I've just said is still out of your price range. And bitch, I feel that completely. If you're able to scrape together the pennies to make it happen, then I think being able to spin, I think can just be really beautiful and, uh, and transformative. So links to everything below. If you're into spinning, if you're not into spinning, if you got something to say, comment below, let me know. I would love to know how you feel about this. What kind of, what kind of stuff are you into? Do you like to ride on the street? Are you a road church bitch? Like what's your, what's your story? It's been nice kicking it with you. Like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I'm Jessamine. This is Baby Shark. Peace. See you later.